Hi everyone, welcome back to DevDoge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Now that we know how arrays work, let's increase a little bit of the complexity. Let's talk about multidimensional arrays. So the word is pretty big, but it's pretty easy to understand once you get a good concept in your mind about how arrays, regular arrays, unidimensional arrays, they work. Okay, so let's copy this array right here because we're going to start with this. So if we come back here, not the classes, here we have one array and remember this array it has three nice positions in memory that's why we have something like this and we know that by creating a uh, primitive array it will be initialized with the default values and for integers they are zero okay so now what is multidimensional arrays is when you have two arrays connected some people they like to use matrices to explain but I'd like to explain a little bit differently and I'm going to show you why so we know that for arrays basically this is what we have to do we just have to create here int and then let me remove this one right here so this is how we create arrays and you know in Java that it can be either like here or you can remove it and have it like here okay but what about multidimensional arrays? Okay, to create multidimensional arrays, you just have to add another pair of brackets. So if you do this, you have two uh, dimensions. If you do this three, four, five, six, seven, technically you can have as many dimensions as you want. But let's start with <laughs> two dimensions. And then once you understand how two dimensions work, it doesn't matter how many you are going to add, it will work the same way. Okay, and then we have here new and we used to have int and suddenly like this, right? But now we are working with multidimensional arrays. It means that it will be one array referencing another array. So what is the syntax? The syntax would be something like this. We still have the first array, but now we have a second array. So we have in Java, we have to at least give the basis, uh, the base array, the, the value, the size. So at least the first one is mandatory, but I explain a little bit more in the Java one for all. But for now, just initialize uh, both of them. So what is actually happening here? So when you do something like this, you are telling, I have here an array that will have another arrays. So you still have, um, I have two, two, but you could have three, three, but let's start with two, two to make it easy. So let me copy these two. So when you have a simple array, uh, let's make this two here. Okay, so when you have a simple array, it's like this. But now you have an array that's referencing another array. So when you have a syntax like this, you're telling, okay, so each one of the positions of the first array, so this two is referenced by this one, it does not necessarily need to be exactly the same. It could be two, three, and I will leave two, three for you to see. So these two represents these two positions, but now we are not having the first, the base array, as integer anymore why not because each one of these guys now we use here the at to show you that this is not like a, a primitive type so this is a reference a reference for what for another array so now when java creates the base if we give here a number java will also create the arrays for each one of these positions so what i'm saying here is that now we have this Actually, let me just remove here. So we have here these arrays, I'm putting them separate, but they are together because they are arrays. So we have here now two arrays and each one of these arrays they have three positions so why do we have two arrays well because we are telling here the basis is two so it's going to reference two new arrays so this is going to have a reference to this guy and this is going to have a reference to this little guy and now the second the, the array that's not the basis array will have the default value because these arrays they are just integers so here we do have our zero back. Okay, we're a bit difficult to understand how does it work. Okay, so this is an array. 
right? If we are talking about arrays, the size is 2, but the index will be 0, and then the index is going to be 1. And the same thing, here we have index 0, index uh, 1, and index 2. And we have exactly the same for this guy over here. So, you know that if we are talking about this simple array, we would have something like this. Okay, give me array in position 0, right? So if we have here, for example, 10 and here 20, and I ask array position 0, what is going to give me back? 10. If I give position 1, 20. But now let's do something different here. So let's say that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But now we are working with multidimensional array. So how do we access? You access asking array 1. Then you have position 0. So when you reach position 0, you have another array. So this is a reference. This is not a value. So you are saying this array, the value that you have inside, knows where in memory the other array is located. So I'm saying now, the array in position 0 that has a reference to another array and their position 0, I want to get this value. So what is this value? Will be 1. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, the value 3. And then once you finish, you are going all the way to the other ones. So let's see how that works uh, in action. Let's create here an arrays. Java class multi from multidimensional arrays, arrays 0, 1. Let's do exactly the same as we did there. We have the SVM, press tab. We have here int. Then you have two brackets because it's two dimensional arrays. Well, actually, one array with two dimensions, or two arrays with two, one dimensions each. You got it. And then uh, I have here array one, and then new integer, and we gave two and three. So we have the base array, two positions, and then for each one of these positions, we are referencing another array with three positions. So now let me just show you. I'm going to print array one, position zero. So when I do this, what we're going to see here is a reference. You see this weird value here? So basically it's having a reference to another array. And as you can see, since this is a reference to another array, for us, it's meaningless. And that's why I don't like to explain uh, using matrices, because once you try this and you don't see the, the value, it might get a little bit confusing. So if I want to get the value, we know how to, to get the value. So now I am at the position 0, and then I will get the value from position 0 as well. And now, Ctrl Shift F10 we get the value back zero, uh, 0. So how do we actually initialize this array? So we can do the following. Array 1, position 0, position 0, 1. Let's do exactly like we have there. So 0, uh, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Because we have six positions to fill. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. Going back here. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and then 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. So basically that's what we're doing. And now 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. And now we give the same values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then you can basically do the same. So if you hold the mouse wheel and you just drag and copy like this, you can do the following. You just press um, south. Well, that will not work. So you can press like south. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then again, drag the mouse wheel, and then press control V. <laughs> okay, you can remove the first one. Now, let's see, control shift F10. And we have the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically, what you have to remember about multidimensional arrays is that you have the first base array, the number of positions you are going to have is 
specified in the first bracket. And then each one of these positions will have a reference to a new, completely new array. And the number of the size of that array will be based on the second bracket. Now, some people, they like to, to explain like this. So if we have actually like this. So we have here technically two columns with three uh, lines. So and then if you think that this is column number zero, this is column number one, and here is line number zero and line number one. Let's move this a little bit here. Then we have one, and then we have two. So basically it's the same thing, position zero, zero. You have here one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six. So position column zero, zero, one. 0, 1, actually, no, it's like this, 0, 0, 0, 1, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, and then 1, 0, 4, 1, 1, uh, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 6, so I think this is a little bit, for some people it's easier to understand, but uh, then you're kind of hiding the internal behavior that the first actually a base array only has a reference to two new arrays. So that's it. Uh, let's do a little bit more coding in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye bye.